Have you ever seen a piece of furniture that looks like it's been loved for years, and wondered how you could create that same effect? The distressed look is achieved by making the furniture appear older and more lived in than it actually is. This popular style can be achieved easily and inexpensively with a few simple steps. In this article, we'll show you how to distress furniture like a pro in just 5 easy steps. With a little time and effort, you'll be able to transform any piece of furniture into a beautiful, one-of-a-kind piece. The most effective ways to distress furniture like a pro. The art of distressing furniture is one that takes time, practice, and a lot of patience, but the results are always worth it. Learning how to distress furniture is a terrific place to start if you want to give the interior design of your house a little more personality and charm. Distressing furniture is a great way to give new life to old pieces or add a bit of rustic charm to newer pieces. The nice thing about it is that anyone can do it because it's a really simple procedure. All you need is a little bit of elbow grease and the right supplies. In this article, we'll show you how to distress furniture like a pro in 5 easy steps. Tools you will need. To distress furniture like a pro, you'll need a few basic tools. Sandpaper, coarse and fine grit. Paint, chalk or latex. Paintbrush. Cloth or rag. Wax or varnish, optional. Step 1. Prep your piece. Before you begin, you'll need to prep your piece of furniture. This involves cleaning it, sanding it, and painting it. Start by using a mild soap and water to clean your furniture. Make careful to clear the area of any debris that might hinder the painting process, such as dirt, dust, or grime. After cleaning your furniture, use sandpaper with a coarse and fine grain to smooth it out. This will make it easier for the paint to cling to a smooth surface. Next, paint your furniture using chalk or latex paint. You can use any color you like, but keep in mind that lighter colors will be more easily distressed. Before going on to the following stage, let the paint completely dry. Step 2. Distress the edges. It's time to start distressing the edges of your furniture once the paint has dried. Simply sand the edges of your item using coarse grit sandpaper to do this. This will provide a distressed appearance that is ideal for getting that lived-in impression. You can also use a hammer to ding and dent the edges of your furniture to give it a more rustic appearance. Just be mindful not to overly harm the paint. Step 3. Create wear and tear. Another way to create the distressed look is by adding some wear and tear to your furniture. To do this, simply take a cloth or rag and rub it over the surface of your furniture in a circular motion. This will create a scratched and weathered appearance that will add character to your piece. If you want to add more wear and tear, you can also use a wire brush to distress the surface of your furniture. Just be sure not to brush too hard or you could damage the paint. Step 4. Sand for a smooth finish. Once you've achieved the desired level of distressing, it's time to sand your furniture for a smooth finish. To do this, simply use a fine grit sandpaper and sand over the entire surface of your furniture. This will help to remove any rough edges and ensure a smooth finish. Step 5. Apply a protective finish, optional. After you've distressed your furniture, you may want to apply a protective finish such as wax or varnish. This will help to protect the paint from wear and tear and keep your piece looking its best for years to come. With these five simple steps, you can easily distress any piece of furniture into a beautiful, one-of-a-kind piece. With a little time and effort, you can transform any room in your home with this popular style. 